Mary? Mary, what? What are you doing? I'm leaving town. I'm going to stay with my cousin Elizabeth. Okay. But why? I just have to get away for a while. Mary, something happened. You seem pretty upset. It's kind of difficult to explain. Oh, I'm not in a hurry. Okay. Have you heard any rumors about me going around town? Actually, yes, you should have heard. Oh, that awful Miriam said the most ridiculous thing about you the other day. She said that you were with child. I told her she obviously didn't know what she was talking about. Well, it's true. What? And you didn't tell me? I, I couldn't. It, it was all so strange. Strange? What do you mean by strange? You won't believe me. Oh, come on, Mary. We've been best friends for how long? Of course I'll believe you. You won't. Anything you say. Hey, an angel came to me. I don't believe you. See? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So, an angel? Really? Yes, he said that I was going to have a baby without even being with a man. That's crazy. He said that I was highly favoured. That's, that's amazing, Mary. I mean, I'm so... Does Joseph know about this? Yes. He was really upset. Mary, he, he broke off our engagement. Mary, I'm so sorry. I just have to get away for a while. Mary? Mary? Joseph. Oh, hi, Ruby. I was just leaving. Hi, Ruby. <laughs> Mary, I've been looking everywhere for you. What for? You sent me away. I know, I know, but something's happened to me. Really? It's hard to explain. I've had a dream. Yes? There was an angel. He spoke to me about you. He said that I should take you as my wife, and everything you told me about the baby, it's all true. Mary, I'm so sorry. Joseph, I felt so alone. I didn't ask for any of this, you know. The whole town talks about me. I know, and that's why I had to find you. Can we try again? Well, if God sent an angel to me, and he sent an angel to you, that has to mean something, doesn't it? I think so. Well, come on then. Let's give these people something to really talk about. <laughs> oh, and the angel said what we should name the child. Our boy? Yeah, he's just called Jesus. Jesus. Oh, that's more like it. I really have it worked out for them. They're such a wonderful couple. Anyway, you people must be wanting to know the way to Jerusalem. There's not much for you here in Nazareth. So if you'll follow me out to the road, I'll show you the way. Where did you get Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we, we, we love Romans, 
Don't we? Don't we? Of course we love Romans. Who doesn't love Romans with their big pointy spears and dogs? We love being Romans. Okay, moving on. Yeah. Yes. You know what I think it's about? What? Taxes? Um, of course. It's always taxes. Always taxes. I mean, the Romans do build pretty good roads. It's the only thing they are, actually. But we pay for it with every shackle. My husband is so poor. Haven't been shopping in weeks. It's terrible. This tech stuff. I can tell. Sorry, my I'm sorry. We were just wondering. Have you seen Mary recently? Oh, I was just looking. You guys are not going to believe what just happened. What? what? <laughs> Jess, look at your back! Oh, oh my goodness, oh, that's wonderful! Oh, you know, I'm not, uh, not a lot of men would do that. <laughs> but that is great news, I'm so happy for her. Oh, I just really hoped that they would be happy together, you know? Yeah, yeah well, me too. I mean, Mary and I have been best friends for forever, so I just want the best for her. And I think Joseph will really be nice to her. I mean, I was surprised at that, but something seems different about them now. Huh. We don't want to keep you people here too much longer, but have you been to Jerusalem recently? No. no. I, I didn't think so. They don't look like they're from around here. Yeah. Not quite Jerusalem's fine fashion. But if you are going to Jerusalem, I feel like there's something you should do. The king... How do I say this without getting my head off? Be careful. The king! is a little more unstable than usual recently. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you guys a fantastic night to be here in Jerusalem. Have I got a deal for you? Just two shekels for a bag of locally manufactured you won't find better than this anywhere else. You won't find better quality. Just two shekels tonight. Two shekels. These are fantastically. They can be personalised and made to to suit any way you want. I uh, don't listen to that Hebrew hogwash. If you want something for the privy room, buy his. But if you want the best, you're going to buy the best. Just three shekels straight from the pottery wheels of Galatia. Any design you want on the neck, get a name printed on the side. Anything you want, just three shekels. In fact, I've got a customer now. <laughs> Return to his town of birth. He must take his wife, both of them, and his children, especially that one. And here's the good part he must go immediately, without delay, right now. Failure to comply with these orders will be dealt with harshly. Are there any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Is there a right, 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 I have a question. Excuse me? We need to ask you a question. I want to know what you be. We are scholars uh, from the Far East. From the Far East? How Far East are we talking about? We've been travelling many months to come here. Why? We are looking for the newborn king. Newborn king? You better be careful how you talk around here, these parts. And what's this you're smuggling into my city? We have brought gifts to give to the child. I have gold. 
Hmm, gold, you say. I have frankincense. Hmm, gold. And I have myrrh. Mm -hmm. I like the sound of the gold. <laughs> you might just need a bit of an escort. Then. Excellent. I'm sure King Herod will be able to help us in our quest. Oh yes, Herod's very helpful. Herod the helpfulness, that's what we call him. <laughs> 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 But uh, I have some uh, visitors to see the king. To see Herod? Yes. That's a terrible idea. You know what he's like these days? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Uh, still not sleeping? Nor eating ever since his sons died. Well, do you think he might be still uh, mourning? Mourning? I don't think so. Herod doesn't like rivals to his... What was that? You weren't talking about me, were you? Of course not, sire. But, some visitors have arrived at the palace to see you. Visitors? Are they spies? Assassins? How many of them are there? What do they look like? Well, there are three of them, Your Highness. They appear to be from the Far East, judging by their clothes. They seem to be learned and noble men. However, they've caused somewhat of a stir since their arrival in Jerusalem. Stir? Yes, Your Highness. My city? Yes, Your Highness. That will not do. No, Your Highness. Bring them in. Yes, Your Highness. We must discuss yes, this. Yes. Oh, great king. Yes, I like that. But what's all this I hear about you three causing a stir in my city? Great king, we have travelled for many months. 
in search of the one who has been born King of the Jews. King of the Jews? Born? Are you saying a new king has been born? Justinius! Good sirs! You must be mistaken, for there is no king. Then Herod the Great! Oh yes, but we have studied the, the ancient Hebrew prophecies and we read that a child is to be born who will be king of the Jews, the saviour of his people. We saw his star when it rose in the east and we have followed it here so that we may worship him. Please excuse us. Summon the high priest. Justin, yes. What is going on here? You told me that all rivals to my throne were dead! Patience, patience, great king. What do your scriptures say about this one who is to come? This saviour. Where will he be born? The prophet Micah writes, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. But out of you will come a ruler who will be the savior of my people Israel. He will be born in Bethlehem. Excellency, I have a plan. Is it a cunning plan? Of course. We will tell these men to go to Bethlehem to see the child then have them report back here so that the great king herod too can worship the child worship the child worship the child have you gone mad justinius your utmost impressiveness i'm merely trying to save us time and effort these wise men can find the exact location of the child so that we don't have to rush about this wretched countryside looking for him they tell us where he is and then we can address Problem. We can address the problem. Very good, Justinius. Very good. Another brilliant idea of mine. You are so wise, most illustrious leader. <laughs> Rachel, did you see that? I did. Oh my goodness! But what did I say? What a time for us to be traveling to Bethlehem, right? I guess. All right, let's keep going, everyone. <laughs> what we're doing here, Rachel? <laughs> I know. <laughs> to be honest, one of the guards, what we're doing? <laughs> Help! <laughs> Who goes there? Well, we're just a group of travelers returning to Bethlehem for the census. Travelers, census. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oblivious. <laughs> Oblivious. <laughs> Pancreas. Yes, sir. <laughs> Deal with him. Of course, sir. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Oblivious. Hello, sir. <laughs> How's your morning going, sir? It isn't the morning, Oblivious. Ah, you appear to be right, sir. You don't say. Now, Oblivious. Yes, sir. What have you heard of this census? Um, nothing much, sir. I'm a honest. I heard it extremely recently, sir. Oh, you did? Yes. Wonderful. Straight out of your mouth, sir. Pancreas? <laughs> yes, sir. Please tell me you've heard of the census. Why, of course, sir. It is a salad, sir. And it's for lunch. It's, it's a salad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is a Caesar salad, sir. Pancreas? <laughs> yes. I want you to think very carefully about what you just said. Oh, I got those two words mixed up with the word census. Sorry, sir. It's still yummy, though, so you should try it someday. Thank you, Oblivious. No worries, sir. 
Oh man! Oh, I just gave that sheep a heart attack! <laughs> oh, I just went down to Woolies! <laughs> oh, what I miss? What did you miss? How could you miss that? M miss what? The angel! Angel? Yes. Are you sure? I'm telling you, it was right there. How could you not see it? Did you have your head in a rabbit hole? Yeah, I did. Again? Yeah. Okay. Well, what did the angel say? Neither human. You said the Savior's born today. <laughs> the Savior of Israel that we've been waiting for. Born today, just down the road in Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Oh yeah. Well, Uncle Gary's down in Bethlehem. <laughs> why would the Savior be there? That, that place is tiny. And why would God send an angel to tell you two? Um. Well. Maybe God sends lots of angels to tell lots of people. Oh, oh. Of course, he really likes shepherds. <laughs> when was the last time you both showered? <laughs> anyway, I'm still not convinced. <laughs> I can prove it to you, okay? And how are you gonna do that? It's easy. Here's the plan, here's the plan, okay? You, Benjamin, me, tonight, the road to Bethlehem. Hey, that's a plan. Okay, well, let's say we go to Bethlehem, and then what? There could be dozens of babies there. How do we know what we're looking for? Uh, that's a good point. Wait. <laughs> You're right. He said something about the baby being in, in uh, a... What, what's it called? Did you hear? What? A manger? A manger. Yeah, that's it. A manger. Yeah. Like a food truck. Yeah. yeah. For animals. Exactly. Why would the Savior be in a food truck in Bethlehem of all places? That's ridiculous. So? You guys are serious about this, aren't you? Yeah. I'll pack my undies. Road trip to Bethlehem tonight. Did you see that angel, everyone? Yeah. Yes. Rachel, did you see that angel? What did I say? I knew coming here was a good idea. I guess you're right. And you know what? It's like you remember the prophecy back at the palace? Out of you will come a ruler. Man, let's find out what's going on. Yes. Sorry. Excuse us. Um, we've just we've been traveling a long way and we're. Wait, did you say a baby? Well, does someone need assistance? Uh, no, I don't think you understand. Are, are you the mother? Um, no, the baby is in there. Well, what's the baby doing in there? That's a bit irresponsible of you, isn't it? It's not like my baby. It's not her baby. Boss, this is a suspicious story coming from these two, and you're a suspicious looking group. I agree. Now, when we have a suspicious group set up at our gates, we have to consult the Roman Centurion Handbook. Now, in this most incredible piece of literature, it tells us exactly when we can and cannot open these gates behind us. So, the first thing it tells us when we have a suspicious group like you is that before we can do anything, we have to search you for weapons and contraband. And so my esteemed colleague behind me is going to search you. Isn't that right, Stupiditus? Indeed it is, Polonius, yes. <laughs> Boss, uh, I'm seeing one here. He's got some war paint on his face. Yes. And, and yes. Like the butterfly of war. The, the, the butterfly of war, some bright neon war paint indeed. And uh, boss, I'm seeing one here. What is it? He's, uh, he's got a helmet on his head, but it's an interesting kind of helmet. He's wearing it the wrong way round. <laughs> what, what, yes. what kind of that? Uh, I'm not sure, sir. Does, does your helmet represent a kingdom? I've got Caesar on mine. Who's, uh, whose helmet is yours? Is it, is, it, is it a Nike? Are you from the kingdom of Nike? Adidas? <laughs> no, no. The kingdom of Fila? Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. From the Far East. Far East. Hey, um, Tupiditus, do you remember that, uh, the, the carrier pigeons from Caesar that told us we need new recruits? Yes, I do remember those pigeons. Yes. Now, what did he say? He said those recruits, they need to be tall, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, tall, tall. Yes, he said they need to be tall. He, need, he, he said they need to be handsome. Very, he emphasised handsome, very, very handsome. handsome. Indeed. And the, the last thing he said, they have to be well built. Well, yeah, very well built. Yes. I'm not seeing anyone that fits the bill, boss. <laughs> no, to be honest, I'm not seeing anyone round here. No, neither am I. Just pick anyone. Well, yeah, would you are, Now, 
uh, one of the things we love to do here at Best Lady Private Soldiers is march. So if you can march for us, then we're going to let you straight through those gates. Are you ready, sir? That direction. All right. You ready? Left, left. Left, right, left, go time! Come on, left, everyone! Left, left, right, left, 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 left
I guess we're feeling a bit generous for my <laughs> other concerns. Oh, come on through. Has it been a long journey? Oh, it's been such a long journey, and let's see the most incredible things on here. Did you walk the whole way? Oh, 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 we got the Donkey Express straight from Nazareth. <laughs> Saved weeks. We can hide like one, a couple thousand donkeys. Have you seen many things? Like, did you see the soldiers? Did they try to collect some more taxes? Always taxes, always inflation. Wow, there are so many of you. How did you know to come? Well, we were on our way to Bethlehem for the census when there was an angel that appeared outside of the fields and told us. This is wonderful. We are so far from our home and our friends. We were beginning to feel sad about not having anyone to share this good news with. Now God has provided. Mom, so go. An angel told me to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. I don't know how the small child can do that, but I do know God has a plan. And we are blessed to be part of it. It's hard to believe God chose me to bear his son, but I know that he is watching over us. joining us on the road to Bethlehem.